Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your pa girl, Steven Nico. If you guys are new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button para maging part na kayo ng aking growing family Nico. And di click niyo na rin yung notification bell para ma-notify kayo whenever I post a new video. For today's video guys, hindi ko na pahahabain yung intro. Re-reviewin nga natin yung bagong concealer sa Philippine market which is the Maybelline Superstay Full Coverage Under Eye Concealer at ito yung product na yon. So kung gusto nyong malaman yung thoughts ko about this product, then keep on watching. This Maybelline Superstay Full Coverage Concealer retails for 399 pesos and makakakuha na kayo ng 7ml or 0.23 fluid ounce ng product. Dito sa Philippines guys, meron tayong available na anim na shades which are fair, light, light medium, sand, medium, and honey. And yung kinuha kong shade for myself is medium or moyen 25 dahil yun din yung shade ko sa favorite concealer ko na Maybelline Fit Me. Sobrang excited ako to try this concealer guys dahil nga marami akong naririnig na maganda daw talaga yung coverage ng concealer na to. And by the way guys, this concealer claims to be long wearing. Up to 24 hours daw niyang kayang magtagal. This is waterproof, transfer resistant, and smudge resistant. For this review pala guys, I'll be using two sponges, yung isa microfiber sponge and yung isa naman regular sponge lang para makita natin kung gano talaga kaganda yung coverage ng concealer kasi most of the time talaga guys nakaka-apekto yung mismong product sa coverage ng produktong tinetest out natin so I'll be using two sponges para makita natin kung ano talaga yung kayang ibuga ng superstay concealer. Nilabas ko na yung product sa box guys and ganito yung itsura niya Squeezy tube yung packaging, kaya gustong gusto ko siya. And another thing na gusto ko sa product na to, or sa packaging ng product na to, meron siyang do foot applicator. So, itetest out na natin tong product na to, guys. And unang-una kong gagawin, guys, sa spot conceal muna ako, meron ako mga blemishes dito. Titingnan natin kung maganda yung coverage niya, kung matatakpan ba niya. And then later, magpa-foundation na ako, iiwasan ko lang yung aking under eye. Dahil itong concealer na to nga yung gagamitin natin for my under eyes. So, let's begin. Medyo zoom in ko kayo guys para makita nyo yung performance ng product sa aking face. And ngayon, let's try spot concealing. And dito lang muna ako magsa spot conceal. Oh, wow. Hindi ko pa nabiblend pero I can tell na maganda yung coverage niya. And I'll be using my microfiber sponge to blend it. And let's see. Okay. Madali siyang i-blend guys. And yeah, maganda yung coverage ng concealer na to. Oh my gosh. Yeah, maganda yung coverage na guys. So habang biniblend ko yung concealer guys, nakikita ko na medyo nababawasan yung coverage. Yung blemishes ko, nagsistart na siyang mag-pick through. Pero ayun nga, maganda pa rin naman yung coverage niya. So ngayon, magpa-foundation na ako and itest out na natin tong concealer na to sa aking under eyes. I'm already done doing my foundation and ngayon nakikita nyo na yung isa sa mga pinaka-problematic areas ng aking face which is my under eyes. So, nakikita nyo kung gano'n ka-dark yung under eyes ko, guys. And matitest out talaga natin tong product na to kung maganda yung coverage niya kapag natakpan niya yung aking dark under eyes. So, unahin ko na yung aking left eye and gagamit ako ng microfiber sponge para makita natin yung difference kapag may concealer na at wala pang concealer. Ayan, guys. I-apply ko na yung concealer and ilalagay ko siya dito sa part na to. And tingnan natin kung maganda ba yung coverage niya. Ayan, guys. Na-blend ko na yung concealer and as you can tell, maganda yung coverage niya, guys. Malaki yung difference tsaka talagang na-brighten up niya yung aking under eyes. So, ayan, guys. Ang ganda niya, guys. First layer pa lang yan. Itatry kong mag-build up. Para tingnan natin kung ano yung potential talaga ng concealer na to. So, dagdagan ulit natin itong side na to. Para makita natin kung talagang fully makocover niya na yung aking dark under eyes. So, lalagyan ko na rin yung aking lids para maging even sila. Masasabi ko talaga guys na maganda yung coverage ng concealer. And ngayon, ilalagay ko na siya sa aking right under eye. And gagamitan ko naman yon ng regular sponge. So, ayan guys. Dito naman tayo mag-focus sa right under eyes. And gagamitan ko nga siya ng regular sponge. Gaya ng sabi ko kanina, lagyan ko na din tong aking mata. Alam nyo guys, okay din naman yung coverage niya using a regular sponge. Pero mas maganda lang talaga yung nagbibigay ng microfiber sponge. So, 
Tatapusin ko lang yung makeup ko off cam then ibibigay ko na sa inyo yung thoughts ko about sa concealer na to. Isa-isahin natin yung kiniklaim ng concealer na to guys and unang-una na doon ay waterproof daw siya. I agree with that claim guys because I've been filming for hours already and I've been sweating a lot. Medyo mainit yung panahon and nakikita ko na pinagpapawisan talaga ako and hindi naman niya na smudge or na disrupt yung aking concealer dito sa aking under eye. And kanina din when I'm done doing my makeup, sinet ko yung face ko with this MAC Preplus Prime or MAC Fix Plus. Hindi rin naman niya na-disturb or na-disrupt or nag-smudge yung aking concealer. So very good on that. By the way guys, don't worry pala with this MAC Preplus Prime kasi hindi siya maka-affect sa longevity ng concealer na to kasi hindi naman niya napapatagal yung makeup ko. Ginagamit ko lang to para tanggalin yung pagiging powdery ng makeup so don't worry about that. Then, sabi rin smudge resistant siya like what I've said, hindi naman nag-smudge yung concealer ko kanina and then sabi rin dito transfer resistant siya so I have a tissue right here guys malinis siya so itatry kong punasan yung aking under eyes or i-dab dito and yeah wala naman nag-transfer so transfer resistant siya which is very great for a concealer and then sabi long lasting daw itong concealer na to mamaya sa wear test makikita nyo kung long lasting siya pero with uh, the claims na napatunayan ko okay na ako doon then lastly sa coverage guys yung pinaka importante sa akin kasi naghahanap ako ng magandang coverage ng concealer or concealer na may magandang coverage and for this one guys ang ganda ng coverage niya but still hindi pa rin siya yung concealer na hinahanap ko. Hindi pa rin ganun kapakak yung coverage niya cause I can still see na medyo nagpipick through pa rin yung darkness ng aking under eyes. Dito lang naman sa part na to guys. So I still need to correct this part when I use this concealer. Pero maganda yung coverage niya guys. I'll still use this. And yeah, ayun guys. Ayun yung thoughts ko about this concealer. Abangan nyo na lang yung wear test mamaya. Time check guys, it's already 7.30 in the evening and kitang kita nyo naman, maganda pa rin yung concealer even 4 hours na siyang nasa aking face and mamaya i-update ko kayo ulit for another check-in. Time check guys, it's already 9.29 in the evening. Ayun, 9.29 na guys and more than 6 hours na sa aking under eyes yung Superstay Concealer and so far, okay pa rin yung itsura niya. Disende pa rin yung itsura niya, maganda pa rin siya. So, mamaya itutry ko mag-update ulit sa inyo ng mga 10 or 11 para maka 8 hours tayong wear test. So, ayan guys. Mamaya i-update ko kayo ulit. Sana kayanin ko pa kasi bukas may work pa ako at ako'y inaantok na. But anyway, laban para sa review ito. Time check guys. It's already 11.36 in the evening. Oh my gosh. So, ayan. 11.36 na ng gabi. And more than 8 hours na yung concealer sa aking under eyes. And so far... Maganda pa rin siya kahit 8 hours na. So, I think enough time na yon para masabi ko na maganda yung longevity ng concealer na to. So, talagang ma recommend ko siya sa inyo, guys. So, if you're gonna ask me if this concealer is worth it, definitely, guys, for 399 pesos, maganda naman yung performance ng concealer na to. Pero at the end of this video, kayo pa rin naman yung magde-decide kung bibili nyo siya or hindi. So, that is it for my review about this Maybelline Superstay Full Coverage Under Eye Concealer. And sana natulungan ko kayo guys na mag-decide kung bibili nyo ba or hindi itong concealer na to. By the way guys, ipopromote ko na rin or ipaplug ko na rin sa video na to na meron akong dalawang ongoing giveaway sa aking channel. Dalawang videos yung may pag-giveaway. Yung isa, yung review ko sa Beauty Miss ni Mama Ann. And yung isa naman, yung aking Lazada Shopee Haul. Meron akong pag-giveaway sa dalawang video na yon So if you're interested, pakicheck yung mga videos na yon And join kayo guys because you're all welcome. Thank you so much guys for watching this video. And I hope to see you again on my next one. But before you leave, remember that your life will flash right before your eyes. So make sure that it's worth watching. Bye guys! This could be something amazing Inside us, the moment that we see, what dreams are made.